Chapman uh, okay. again. Good morning and welcome to Consumer Affairs with Business Licensing Remote Hearing. We will ask all council members and council staff to please turn on their videos at this time. Please place all electronic devices and cell phones to vibrate to avoid distractions. Mr. Chair, you're ready to begin. All right, am I ready? You're good. All right, gaveling us in. Uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Committee on Consumer Affairs and Business Licensing. Uh, my name is uh, Andrew Cohen and I'm the chair of the Committee on Consumer Affairs and Business Licensing. Today, our committee will be voting on two pieces of legislation, a pre-considered intro by council member Matteo and my bill proposed intro 1916A. Uh, as we know, and as we heard at the joint hearing held by this committee and the Committee on Small Business, the COVID pandemic has hit our city's small business incredibly hard. And even before this pandemic hit, uh, remaining profitable was incredibly difficult. So it is hard to comprehend how tenacious small business owners are making it happen now. But many still are. While it was inspiring to hear about the resiliency and generosity of our small business owners, they cannot bear this weight alone. Many small business owners have called for very specific legislation and governmental support to navigate this unprecedented crisis. In response, I and my fellow council members have introduced various pieces of legislation geared toward reducing the burden on small businesses and to help maintain operations during this crisis in the best way possible. Oops. Oh. In the best way possible. My bill, intro uh, 1916A, will require the Department of Consumer Affairs to waive and refund revoc revocable consent fees for sidewalk cafes for the remainder of the mayor's emergency executive order 105 or until February 28th, 2021, depending on whether the sidewalk cafe is enclosed or unenclosed. Sidewalk cafe costs restaurants owners thousands of dollars in city fees annually. While we are on this crisis, it does not, while we're in this crisis, it does not make sense for the city to collect these fees when restaurants are one of the hardest hit industries. This is simply placing additional burdens on businesses that are struggling just to get by. We are also voting today on council member Matteo's pre-considered bill, which requires city agencies to publish a list of any licenses, permits, consents, or registrations that are not covered by the renewal extension provided for by the mayor's emergency executive order number 107. This list must be made available on agency websites no later than 14 days after enactment of this bill. In addition, this bill extends the renewal period of licenses and permits until 45 days after the executive order lapses. Uh, I will now ask the clerk uh, to call the roll. Good morning. Martin, committee clerk, will call vote committee on consumer affairs. Both bills are coupled. Chair Cohen. Uh, I vote aye. Ten. I vote aye on all. Koo. I vote aye on all. Kozlowitz. GME? Yes, yes, yes Karen. Oops. I didn't, hear, I didn't hear your vote, council member. Oh, I know. Thank you. Lander. I vote aye. Brennan. I could read his Brandon, website, but he said aye. Aye on all. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Jaeger. Aye. By a vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, both items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Uh, before I close out, I know that uh, I normally uh, thank uh, the staff for their hard work, but it, 
it has been particularly challenging uh, in this time. Uh, so I just want to express my sincere gratitude to the staff for helping get the bill into this shape, getting it to the to this point, getting the Zoom hearing going. I mean, it's just been uh, an enormous amount of effort on everyone's part. So I just wanted to express my gratitude. Uh, can I close the committee meeting? All right. I vote this concludes. This concludes the Committee on Consumer Affairs. This was the 